Hi, I'm Iris, and welcome to another episode of Mail Time, where we're doing stuff. I don't know what kind of stuff we're doing because this is kind of slapped at the beginning of an episode, and I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> okay, here we are. Um, now we're doing the delivery to Maine, to Daisy. I just did a whole bunch of, like, saying stuff that I had to, like, work out for video editing. Hey! There you are! The final competitor! You have a letter from Shelby! Oh, how is she? She's so excited about the race! Oh, I always love getting Shelby's notes. Bless my soul, the poor thing has worked themselves into a tizzy over some rutting. I didn't know she was so worried about the race. Yeah, they seem pretty stressed. I think she sees me as some kind of idol. That I'm so kind of natural. But growing up, I was the slowest. All 12 siblings were faster than me. When I came here, I managed to find the fun in running again. I hope she'll be able to do that soon as well. Here, let me pen a quick response. Could you give this to Shelby, please? I don't want this tearing her up a moment longer. No problem, Miss D. Okay. Go deliver this to Shelby. That is my job. Eh. Please. Please. Thank you. Now we run. That definitely did not. How the fuck are we supposed to do fast letter delivery if we can't do that? There's Snowdrop. Snowdrop's doing sleeping. Hey, Shelby! Hey there, speedy shelves! Back, back, back again! Oh, hi there, Iris. Sorry, I've been feeling a bit down. Please tell me you have some good news from Daisy. Here's her letter. She was really worried about you. You shouldn't push yourself so hard. Being fast isn't all there is to life. You should run to have fun. You're just enough as you are. This is almighty kind, but I just don't see the point anymore. I think I'm gonna throw in the towel. There's no way I'll win that race anyway. Hang on, there's another letter in here. It's a blank page. Oh wait, it says something here. Could I please have the autograph of the first chat turtle track star ever? Oh no, I'm gonna cry. Well, sign it first before you cry. I can't deliver a soggy autograph to Daisy. Don't worry, Scout. I'll deliver this one. That way I can get some extra training in. Thanks for sticking around when I got the sads. Of course. No one should be sad alone. Does that mean it's the end of the sads? Hopefully, Scout. Hopefully. Take care, little Scout. Run fast. You too, Shelby. Oh, wait. One last thing. Now that your brain is out of sport mode. You got an idea where Greg might be? Oh, Greg. That's the one you were asking about earlier, right? I've had a good old thinky think since then. I remembered something. I haven't seen too much myself. But so folks say he lives up out of the grove somewhere. Supposedly he's good friends with Jim, the froggy fella. Plink honking on his kalimba up by the waterfall with all the bamboo. Wherever Greg is, Jim will surely know. Thanks. Great. Thanks a bundle, Shelby. Not a problem, little scout. Yay, we got the fan mail pouch. Woo! Boing. Oh, wait a second. It can't be up here, could it? No? Is there something up here? No? Maybe I'm just seeing things, but I wanted to go up here. No? Okay. I indeed was just seeing things. I want to find that freaking mushroom! I need that mushroom! Oh, I should be going this way. It's- it likes shady places, but where? Might be in the Greg area, which I might need to go up there? But I want- I don't know. Could it be in here? Could it be in here with all the money? No, I can't even look all the way up there. 
This looks shady. These look sparkly. That's the fucking uh, cage mushroom. I've looked everywhere! Let's jump up to this place right here. Nope. Oh. It's supposed to look like a little cup. talk to Greg just yet, but maybe I'll just take a look around there. They like shady spots. Also, I'm missing a few trinkets still. I don't know. Maybe after we did this one, we can look again. I already talked to you. Let's look at- see if you have anything. Book Bunny Basil. Got another rock fact? One second, let me skim to an interesting bit. Alright, here we go. Did you know that rocks and minerals are different things? No, I didn't. What's the difference? Minerals are the same all the way through, and there's loads of different types. But there's th like three main types of rock, and rocks have a more mixed structure. Oh cool, what are the three types of rock? Sediment. They're really tricky words, and I don't want to read them out loud. Fair enough, I already learned a lot as it is. See you for the next one! Rock fact time! Rock fact time indeed! Lay it on me! Did you know that not all diamonds are transparent? They come in all sorts of carrot colors, and red is the rarest! Huh, I never would have known! Another thing, diamonds aren't even the rarest gem! Wow! Double fact! You better pace yourself, Basil! You're going too hard on the rock facts! On the contrary, you can never have enough rock facts! That's true, I can't get enough! Catch you on the next one! I'm just gonna keep talking to you! Oh, Iris, you're not gonna believe this. I'm already not believing it. Well, that's a little early. But anyway, shooting stars are rocks from space. They get all fiery like that when they go into our atmosphere. That's like the air blanket around us. Holy moly! Now that's a really advanced rock fact. Thanks for sharing it with me, Basil. No! No? Not no. No, no, no. Not no. I meant no. Thank you for listening to them. It's been nice to share my hobby with somebody. You know, maybe you could try listening to your siblings too. Then they'll feel just as good as you do now. And who knows? Maybe you'll find out you have more in common than you thought. Hmm. Maybe. First, I'm gonna finish reading my book. After that, I'll think about being social again. Hey, Iris, before you go, I wanted to give you this drawing I made. But don't look at it yet. Open it when you leave. Thank you so much, Basil. I really, really appreciate it. Well, enjoy your book. And you enjoy your mail. Yay! Basil's drawing! Woo! Does this count as a trinket? Where is the trinket one? Okay, one more trinket. One more trinket to go. I don't know where it is. Daisy! Here you go. Howdy again, Iris. Have you got another drawing for me? Yep, here's number three. Look at that, it's a rock. That's gotta be from Sweet Basil, right? Yep, I've been told it's the best rock, no less. And how grateful I am to receive it. Simply adorable. Basil's such a brainy bun, I could never remember all the cool facts he knows. Iris, this really means so much to me. My kids are wonderful and I can't be their biggest fan enough. But now I feel a little closer. Thanks so much for your help. No problem. If you ever need any vegetables from the farm, just let me know. Oh, will do. I don't have any space in my backpack right now. But maybe another time. You're always welcome. Aw, thanks. Okay, we need one more trinket. I don't know where it is. Is it the bicycle? I hope not. I'm gonna check it anyways. Where the fuck is that cup mushroom? I'm going all the way around because why not? Because I want to get to that high spot. Maybe it's around there? I don't know. I might look at it if I get too confused. Because I don't want to talk to Greg yet. I mean, I would love to because that's my whole quest. But I have questions. 
and I am confused. I need to get that mushroom. Hop. Mushroom, 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 mushroom. Have we gotten that light for 15 minutes yet? So I want that one too. Okay. Maybe we need to talk to the frog boss? Or the worm boss? I don't know. We talked to them at the beginning, but they didn't really have anything to say to us. Only like a little bit of like talking was really had. We helped the capybara. I love you, capybara. Um, we need to go on top of these big boy mushrooms, plant things. Oops. Hop. Hop. And then we go here. You have a quest. You found my bestie Greg already? No, I'm, uh, you know, preparing. Getting into the zone. Ah, okay. Well, remember, he's just over the broken bridge. We'll only do some jumping on Gliding Arisha's cave. It's pretty high up for someone like you. What? I'm not short. I'm super duper tall, actually. Yep. Sure, Iris. You're so tall. My neck is hurting. <laughs> they look like the frog detective. I love them. Okay, so he's... Greg is over the broken bridge. We might need to do some gliding. What's the highest we can go? Okay, that is our highest. So we're supposed okay, we're supposed to go like over here. Okay. And the music goes quiet, which is scary. I want to find the- I want to find the mushroom! I'm stuck. Mushroom? Hello? Mushroom likes shade. We did find the- The one that's over there. Like going over there, so maybe we'll just. There's another broken bridge. Okay, there is a thingy over here. Okay, we went over. We going over here. And then we go here. Oh boy. If it brings us to Greg, I'm not ready yet. Oh god! Oh. Is that it? What is this place? Is this the cave? Is this Greg? Where did I just go? Where am I? Oh. Oh, this brings me back over here. Funny. Yeah, because I messed up. Where the fuck is that mushroom? I need that sample. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, there's Greg. Greg is the bear. Um. Hold on, I don't want to talk to you yet. Hello? No! Mr. Greg? I have a letter for you! It's kind of important. Wake up! Do you think he's dead, B? Bzzz. Maybe we should poke him with a stick to check. Bzzz. Okay, okay, I won't poke the bear. Bzzz. What? 
You think he's gone to hibernation? What's that? Bzzz. Oh, like a super nap. That's okay. We'll just wait for him to wake up. What? Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, for how long? Bzz. Until spring! But then I can't deliver the letter today. Bzz. Leave it here? Absolutely not! Someone else might take it. It's not the male scout way. Bzz. I don't want to go ask Janet for help. Bzz. Fine, I'll do it. Janet's probably still at the band. Okay. Good for us then. Where the fuck is that mushroom? Where's the mushroom? There's that broken bridge. I like shade. Okay, you know what? I don't want to talk to Janet yet. I'm gonna look- oh, yay, I got the gliding for 15 minutes achievement, Yippee. I'm looking- I'm- uh, fuck it, I'm looking for that, uh, mushroom. Let me pause the game. What the heck? These are not the golden tuck ones. There's an area behind the road. I think the quest is glitched because it said golden tuft, but it was like being all weird. I wasn't ready to talk to Greg. Okay, don't talk to Janet, don't talk to Janet. Cross the road. Oh my God, there they are. Oh my God. Yay, we've earned the archeologist patch, woohoo. Found 40 trinkets, let's fucking go. Now we go to Toph. That's because apparently we had to get all of those damn things out of the way. Um, we'll just go this way. Ah, uh, it took me so much longer than I was supposed to. I remember we sh- Oh, those- were the mushrooms at the beginning of our playthrough. Silly, silly, Iris. <sighs> we Tof is over here. Tof. Hello, Tofu. That's what I'm gonna call you now. Where'd you go? Where's Toph? They're gone! I like to change my hat? Of course. Where'd they go? Is my game glitched? 
Oh, please, God, no, please. No, I didn't mean to talk to Greg. No, please. Is everyone else gone? Oh. What's the... I messed up the game! Surprise! What? Congrats on your first complete assignment! Oh, um, that's so nice of you all. But, um, I'm so sorry to disappoint. I didn't deliver the letter to Greg. I'm so sorry. Oh, Janet's right here. Can I have a word, Iris? I'm so sorry, Janet. Please don't be mad. I'm not mad at you. Why not? I failed! I can't come back from something like this. All the scouts will think I'm a fraud. Sometimes we just kind of meant to fail and learn from it, you know? No! I don't know! I needed this delivery to go well. Why? Why about all the other le letters you've delivered by now? Don't think I wasn't keeping an eye on you. Because it was my assignment! I've got to complete my first assignment perfectly! What would happen if you fail it? I don't know. Everyone will be disappointed in me and think I'm not a real male scout. They'll ruin me. Does that mean I'm not a real male scout either? H have you ever failed an assignment? Yep, many times. One time I read the address wrong and it ended up at the North Pole. <laughs> really? Yeah, sometimes you mess up. Or sometimes something just can't be done the way you wish it would be. It's totally fine to fail. It just happens occasionally we learn from it. Thanks, Janet. That makes me feel better. No worries, Iris. Now, how about you go enjoy this party everyone put together for you? Come talk to me again when you're ready to skedaddle. Okay, Mrs. Boss. Oh, well, I glitched- totally glitched out the game. Um, where's Toph? I found your mushrooms! Hi, Toph! Ah, it's Iris, my favorite scout. What you doing all the way out here? Just taking a breather. Not one for parties. Not usually, no. Mostly the noise. My ears are a bit sensitive. It doesn't take much or for it's too much. Ah, well, I'm glad you came either way. There's no wrong way to party. I'm glad you think so. Hey, do you mind if I ask you Nod's question? Sure! The mushroom on your head? Were you born with it? Can you feel through it? In a cell, what do you feel? I've been wondering this whole time. I have a lot of follow-up questions after these ones. It's not... It's not what? Can you not feel through it? Or only when you're older? Or heaven forbid... Did you have an accident? Toph, it's a hat. Just a mushroom hat. Oh, that makes sense then. Well, you sure picked a good one. It was quite pretty. And only a little bit poisonous. If you had to eat it to survive, you could, but you wouldn't enjoy it. Um, good to know. Thanks, Toph. No, thanks you for coming to check in on me. Good luck on your next adventure. The same to you. I want to finish the quest. No! I can't- Can I save without quitting? I mean- Why- No! I have all the other patches! Can I change the save? Toph! Oh no, I messed up! Oh, I was how delightful to see you. Are you enjoying this petit fait du courrier? Oh, the party? It's splendid. A good feline friend has done the honors of funding this event. Knowingly? Some questions are best left unanswered, Scout. I understand. How's the art going? Oh, so so. Inspiration comes and goes. You know how it is. Not really. I don't need much inspiration to deliver mail. I suppose not. Well, there is a cutie in the band over there. Their passion and energy is certainly inspiring me. Who? Who is it? Don't look, don't look. And also, don't ask. I'll never, ever tell. Aww. Chin up, Iris. You did great work today. Hope to see you around again soon. Au revoir, Scout. See you soon, Stinky Crow. I swear, if you call me Stinky one more time... I'm joking, I'm joking. Bye, Kaz. Bye, Iris. Aww. I guess we should talk to everyone. Where's the band? Are you guys the band? Aww! Aww, Ham 
has his little things. Aww. Damn it. I think I messed up the game, actually. What if we try... Everyone's over there. What if we try going to the mail van? Because we're supposed to talk to Janet over at the mail van. I think I really did fuck up the game. Yeah, because Janet's not here. Because she's over there. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up the game. Shoot. Yeah, it won't let me complete the quest. For toe. Fuck. Damn it. Okay. Alright, we'll do more talking to people. And then... I don't know how we're gonna fix this. Yeah, everyone's over here. Damn, I wish there was a way to circumvent this. Hello, capybara! Yeah, it won't let me talk to Toph. Will it let me talk to Kaz anymore? Yeah, it will, but not Toph. Fuck. Hey, capybara! And sometimes it glitches out when I'm trying to speak to someone. I think I... Oh, hi, recruit. Whoops, I mean, hi, Iris. Sorry, it's weird not to not be working anymore. No worries. What if I told you that recruit is my middle name? It is? No, my middle name is Garlic. Why is your middle name Garlic? Long story. Too long for now. My name is canonic- My middle name is canonically Garlic. Oh my god. So what do you think of the party? I love it. It's nice to see everyone out and about and having fun. I'm glad. When Janet asked for help in organizing the party earlier, it felt right to contribute after all you've done for me in the gang. You and Janet set up this party? Thank you so much. I guess I was thinking about what we were talking about earlier. About sipping drinks? You do realize that was a metaphor for wealth distribution, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I got that. I was thinking about what it's like to be busy. I like being busy. Sometimes it feels like relaxing is the hard part. Problem starts when I don't get to not be busy. But helping out with event planning like this, the relaxing is part of the being busy. And, so, and if it's up to me, we'll have a Grumblewood get down every week. No need to worry about the cost. A certain feline friend is fronting the expenses. Well, don't let me keep you from enjoying your first party of many. You should enjoy it too. Also, it's in your honor. You'll come to the next party too, right? One miss it for the world, Irene. Good, good. Can't wait to see you there. Damn it. I might have to met. I want to talk to Capybara. Oh, God. And I think I broke the game again. Hello, Max and Max's hat. Hi from both of us. This isn't my regular hat, though. Oh? It's my party hat. It looks identical to your normal hat. Iris! Ah, but it is entirely unidentical in every other way. That's why you greeted it just now. On some instinctive level, you knew it was different. You're overestimating my instincts. But this is a party, so I'll agree to keep the peace. Good call. And good party. Enjoy it! I will! Aww. Oh. What happened to- Why are you facing the other way? I think we glitched out, Max. I'm sorry, Max. Hey, Cedar! What you doing there? Ah! I mean- Aha! Nice to see you, Iris. Also, is Cedar's dress the lesbian flag? If so, that's fucking adorable, and I love it. What brings you here on this fine morning? I mean, evening. I mean- Is there something on Kiki's forehead? What? No. Because you seem to be staring at it pretty intently. Well, for me, coin collection collecting is just a start. I want many coins. Kiki has many coins. Like, lots. And why spend valuable energy finding out how to go about doing that when I could just steal someone else's idea? Spoken like a true capitalist. You'll go far in this field. You think? Well, I don't. I hope so. But we'll see. You'll see, Iris. I'll make you proud. Don't know if that would be making me proud, but go off, I guess? <laughs> oh my god, I love the dialogue. Hey, Kiki. Oh, you. This is your party, isn't it? That's what I'm told. Guess you're quite the big shot around here now, huh? Think you're real something. Well, listen here, bub. 
This town ain't big enough for two of us. And this kitty's got claws. Before you go on, I just want you to know, I'm really quite scared. Quivering, even. I don't like your tone, Iris. I'll show you. When I finally get my... Shoot. When was it again? A deposit? Yep, that was definitely a deposit you signed for. Nothing more. You're sure you delivered it to the right people? I want my stacks now. It went to the right people, all right. Wink. You said wink out loud. Yeah, what about it? When I finally get that deposit, I'm buying out the company you work for. Okay, see you then, future boss. Oh, now they're facing away from me. And it won't let me talk to Kiki. Okay, yeah, the dialogue is glitching because I'm not supposed to be talking to people, certain people, I guess. Why, hello there, ham. Hello yourself, Iris. Thanks again for pulling out of my culinary slump. Not a bad job, Scout. Yeah, yeah, not bad at all. Huh? What's with the face? I'm confused at how you were dancing that hard but are breathing so normally. Ah, it's all in the core strength, my dear Scout. My extreme internal muscles are simply not allowing me to be out of breath. Determined imitation of normal breathing, I call it. Or D-I-N-B for short. Also, no one, now no one can tell if I'm nervous when I'm D-I-N-B-ing. Are you nervous, Ham? A little. I'm not so good with people. Do you think I'm dancing too much? Am I making a fool out of myself? Be honest. Nah, you good. You're dancing exactly the right amount for you. Thanks, Iris. Glad you think so. Well, I hate to dine and dash, but I have to stop talking now. The longer I spend talking, the less time I spend eating. And time is calories, my friend. You've got to replace the energy you use as soon as you use it. Or are you going to run out? It's called replacing energy real time. Or work for speedy talking. I'm rooting. Eating and dancing? Truly a jack of all trades. More like a ham of all. Of all. Shoot! I can't think of a rhyme again. That's okay. Save all the brain power for the wording and din bing, din bing. Right you are. Right you are. Bye, Iris. It was nice to meet you. Likewise, ham lamb Hi, Shelby. Hi, Iris. Hi, Shelbs. Are you finally on sport mode? Yes. Yes! It's in party mode now. Gosh, it wasn't that long ago that you arrived here in Grumblewood Grove. You already have, already have a party in your honor. Really moving on up, little scout. Aw, gee, thanks. I'll never forget my humble beginnings. You were my very first delivery, Shelby. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, I knew. You were shaking like a little leaf. You were so nervous. No, I wasn't. That's an embellished retelling. Embellished or not, you've come far, little scout. I have further to go ahead of you if you're willing to go there. I know you can do it if you put your mind to it. Thank you, Shelbs. Those are some real kind words. Hey, I only said them. You made them true all by yourself. You'll do good, kid. Now go on and party. Off I go! Hello? Are both of you talking? Or... How do I talk to you guys? Oh, God. What do I do if I want to talk to you? I guess I can't talk to Egbert and Honey. I forgot your name. Hey, Clarence! That is not who I was trying to talk to, but that's fine. Oh god, everyone has A's above their head. Hey, Clarence! Oh, for crying out. Clarence! Oh, hey there, little scout. Don't mind me. I was just jamming. Thank you so much for your help earlier. You have turned Egbert's frown upside down. That's nothing short of a miracle. You know, with the noise complaint and all, I think figured you'd be into, I don't know, a cooler instrument? Scout, scout, scout. You are truly not yet wise to the ways of the world. This triangle possesses raw, unique, unique raw musical power. I didn't even see a triangle. And I am its vessel to unleash it on the world. You dig? I, I'm digging, I think. Don't worry, let me get back to it and I'll show you what it's all about. Just listen and enjoy the party. Thanks again, little friend. I can't talk to you? Okay. Swamp! Swamp? The game's glitched. What about Jim? Oh my god, it's so glitched. Swamp-a-bomp-bomp! -bomp. How's life treating ya? 
Splendidly. Why is it showing up on Janet? As you can see, I am reclining with mine homies. I've got my punch, the sun's out. A rat could not want for more. That's good to hear. Things are winding down after the heist, then? Thankfully, this hangout, it's been a long time coming. Thanks for making it happen, Iris. But that special spark you have inside that you used to help us, you're gonna help a lot help a lot of people with that spark. Aww. And maybe the spark can one day light a fuse. Oh no. And the fuse burns all the way up to a boomstick. And then Boom! Explosion. Explosion indeed. We'll just have to see what happens, I guess. A rat can dream. Take care, little scout. And don't be a stranger. When dare Swampy Swoo. Swampy Swoo to you, I you too, Iris. Yep, the game is being wonky. Hey, Jim! Seems you made it down to the valley, then? Oh, hey, Iris. It's fine. The best sets are the one where the crowd walks on stage and interrupts the artist. Oh, sorry. It's okay, really. I think I needed a little reminding that other people exist. It's nice to have an audience for once. Even though some seem more concerned with themselves than this heavenly music. Truly ingrates. You're right. I'm glad I got to meet you, Iris. Now I must return to my musical duties. It's really hard to play and talk at the same time. I'm hanging on by a thread here. Oh, okay. Break a leg! I would rather not. See ya. Oh my god. Hey, Socks. Can I talk to Socks? It is not letting me talk to Socks. Yeah, I glitched out the entire thing. It'll be... I guess we'll just talk to Janet and get out of here then. You ready to go, kid? Yep. Are you sure? Sure. No going back. Talk to me when you're ready. You ready? Okay. Well, let, let me talk to Socks now. Hey, Socks. You good, Socks? Let Socks ask Iris fair question. Socks look like Socks want talk. Socks no spare leg to stand on. Bing bong music costs lots of leg energy. You don't need legs to chat though. Iris thick skull. Not chat time. Socks chase auditory glory. Wow, that's a long word for you, Socks. Iris, go to jail. Jail! In Socks' head. Socks in forever- Iris in forever jail. Suffering daily. That's too bad. I'll be off then. I love your xylophone playing, though. It sounds beautiful. Thank. <laughs> Socks is silly. I- Hi, Iris. Hi, Shelves. We already talked about this. Okay. That's funny. Okay, I don't think it lets us talk to... I think there's a couple people missing, but it's fine. Yeah, like... Oh, wait, no. Haley and Donna. They all over here. I didn't even see you guys. Hey! Donna? Just... What? Can we not talk to them? Oh, okay. Oh, there you are! Hi, Snowdrop. Hello? Zzz. Anybody in there? Poor Bun must be tuckered out from all the excitement. Sleep tight, little Bun. Aww. Is there anyone else? Did the bridges get fixed? I can't tell. I'm gonna climb up on Halia's house. Cause, isn't, where's Daisy? I don't see Daisy. There's so many exclamation points popping up. Yeah, I, I really think I messed up the game. I'm so sorry. That's okay, we got most of the things. Okay. I'm ready to go now. Sure thing, you feeling better? Yes. You know, thanks for listening to me. Not a problem, kid. We all need a little support sometimes. I'm a little scared to tell me I'll scout HQ, but it'll be okay. Yes, you'll be fine. They know deliveries don't always go as planned. We can just come back when Greg's out of hibernation, try again. And then I'll be more prepared. Exactly. You had 53 deliveries for today from what I hear. It wasn't always easy, but I'm so happy I was able to help everyone today. Sadly, because of the Greg business, the higher ups won't be able to give you your official male scout patch yet. Don't you worry, kid. I actually one right here. 
We got the unofficial male scout patch. Women Flav male scouts. Woo! Ah, Janet! You stole from work? I'm calling the CEO of mail right now. No, no, no. I made you one. Because you're a true male scout to me. Iris, are you saying anything? Janet, you're the best mom a boss could wish for. No, wait. The best boss a scout m could mom for. No! You know what? Doesn't matter. I don't have to be perfect. Thank you, mom boss Janet. You're not my kid. You know what? Never mind. Let it out, scout. Say what you need to say. I'm an official male scout, baby! Aww. Yay! Kayla Vandajid. I can't pronounce your last name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yay! Oh no! Maybe. I hope that's not something I'm missing. Writing uh, all these. Yay! Credits! I'm. Um, oh, and there's a picture of them doing the wood thing together! Aww. Is this a picture I'm missing of the mushrooms? Because I'm sorry! The coin. Yay! This was really fun and wholesome, except for me messing up the game. That's fine. Aww! A little ball of yarn. Well, at least we know where all the mushrooms are. Aww, E hearts A. That's sweet. Stop or else? Oh. Is that from the worms or for the from socks? I don't know. On the rock. Word fossil? Ah, they having a hug. That's so cute. Capybara with the orange. I love I love Max so much. That was, Max is very cool. Chubbs and Daisy running the race together. Aww. That's so cool. I had a lot of fun with this game. I, I'm also really excited to get um, the Kickstarter stuff when it comes. Oh no, there's another question mark! Ah! I'm sorry, I don't have it! Because I messed up. Darn it! It's okay. Oh, Kiki. Is Kiki trying to figure out where the deposit is? Discord community. Oh wait, I think my name is in the game. Is it? I forget. These are all cool people in the Discord server. If they credit the Patreons in the game, I think my name might be in here. Oh, hey, I'm enjoying the blueberries and cheese. Oh, Queerly Bee! Aww, I love Queerly 
CB. That's cool to see B's name in there. Oh, and Snowdrop looking at all the stars. Kickstarter backers. Let's see if my name is in here. Um, Comfy Crow. Da -da -da. It has a lot of names. Where's Trash and Goddess? I don't know if I'm in here or not. There's a lot of backers. I'm concentrating really hard because they're trying to see me. I don't know if I'm even in here. <gasps> this is me! This is me! Ah! This is me! That's my name! What? Ah! That was me! Ah! My name was in there! That's so cool! I found myself. Hee <laughs> hee. Hoo hoo. I forgot about that! Oh, that was so cool to see my name in there! Ah! That was a long time ago. That was like 2022, I think, when I did that. That's so cool to see my name in there! Ah! Um, so I think I ordered an art book too, which, which might come at some point. I don't know when though. I forget what else I have, but it'll be cool to get those when I can. Ah! I'm so excited. There is no need. Eggs. <laughs> Knitting in binary. <laughs> that was so cool to see my name in there. Can I scroll faster? Bub Fables! <laughs> Mail time uses Unreal Engine. Nice. Thank you for playing. Hell yeah. Yay! We did it! Why did it give me the... It gave me an achievement. It, it messed up on giving me the achievements. It's okay, though. Yay! We did it! All right, we are gonna end our playthrough of mail time here. What happens if we click click continue? Is that even possible? And it messed up the controls. Okay, it just ends up going to that. Okay. Unofficial mail scout. You did it, kind of, not really, but you did do other things. We made one out of one Janet's made proud. Well, we didn't get express shipping done because that one's all messed up, but it's okay. We got everything else, so we'll just gonna save and quit, and um, if the game will let me. There we go. Yay! So we're gonna say goodbye now. And thank you so much for being here um, while we hung out and played the game. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you take care of yourself, get enough food, get enough water, get enough rest, and just be kind to yourself in general because you deserve it. Also, tell somebody you love them because you may not know how much they need it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!